Hi, welcome back, Nashini. Hi. Okay, we just completed present perfect. Yeah. In this video, what all are we going to complete? We'll do past perfect. Past perfect and something else? So we'll try to do past perfect and see the sequence of the events. Okay, so we'll start with past perfect. Right, so in present perfect, we saw that it's the action that happened in the past and has its effects in the present. Right. When we started this video, the tenses video, we said that uh, tenses place the action in time. Yeah. Suppose there are, there were two actions that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. How would you place that in time? How would you place those actions in time? Like, uh, if there are two things that you did in the past. So you're saying some two actions happened in the past. Right. How to place them? How do you place them? Right. So if there is one action in the past, we say past simple. Yes. I ate my breakfast. Yes. So that is, it is past simple. Yes. But suppose there were two things that I did in mm -hmm. the past. So for that we use past perfect, mm -hmm. right? That's clear. Right. So yeah. that means to express one action in the past happened before another action or before a particular time in the past. Mm -hmm. So there were two actions. First action is the had action. You always use had with the first action. That happened before the other action in the past. I had my breakfast, my, my breakfast yesterday. For example, I had my breakfast before I went to school. Okay, so you're saying two actions which you did, yeah. both are in the past. Right. How do you how do you explain them? Yeah. Right. So first thing is that there are two actions. One, you went to school. Hmm. This is in past. Second action, that is you had your breakfast. Now you have to decide what did you do first. Did you go to the school first or did you take your breakfast first? I had my breakfast before I went to the school. I went to school. So had school. will always tell you that this is the first action. Okay. So be it in the first clause or the second clause. Right. It will always be the first action. So had shows you the first action. Yes. And I went to the school shows you the second action. The second action. So went is the past simple. Yes. So that means past perfect and past simple. Mm -hmm. These two tenses go together. So a past simple and a past perfect, a past perfect and a past simple will go together. Yes. Where the past perfect will be always be the first, first tense. tense. So had you, and it's it. represented by had. Right. Yeah. So if we read the sentence, says before Jenny began college last year, she had never been more than 15 miles from home. So which one is the first action? It should be she had never right. been. Right. But you look at had and so it automatically tells us. So this is where GMAT comes into the role. So okay. they give you the uh, chronology of the actions right? and you have to place them in the correct time. The right, correct. So, un so understood. So what you're saying is she had never been more than 15 miles from home mm -hmm. is your first thing. Be just because there's a had here, yes. you can easily capture it and say, okay, this is the first part. And before Jenny began college last year is the second part. Yes. So right. if I say before Jenny had begun college last year, she she had never been more than 15 miles from home. Mm -hmm. So in that uh, case, the had begin college last year would be the first action, and therefore is answer. Right. 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 Okay. So. So, so how how would you how would you construct this sentence? Uh, when you want to say that she had never been is the second sentence. Uh, yes. Second she had never been. She had she had never been is the first part. Yes, always. So how how do you construct it? She had never been more than 15 miles from home before she began college last year. Okay, so, so you're just saying that she had never been uh, more than 15 miles from home before she began college last night. Last or, or Jenny had never been more than 15 miles from home before she began college last year. That's what I we say. Whether you place it in the front or at the last, but right. whatever the whatever clause has had, yeah, that means that's the first. Action. That that is the first action yes. that has happened. Perfect. Right. Okay, let's see the second slide. Yeah. The film had already begun by the um, time we got to the cinema. So whenever you have already, you yeah. always use had with it. Yes. I cannot say the film already began by the um, begun by the time we got to the cinema. Mm -hmm. We'll always use the film had already begun. Yes. Right. So it is always used with already. Right. Okay. Understood. Right. Let's go to the second slide there. Right. Let's see the difference between past simple and past perfect. Okay, important. Yeah. Yeah. When George stopped singing, everyone had left. Had left. So that yeah. means people left before. Before George stopped singing. Yeah. So it's laughing here. It's, it's basically singing. Yeah. So whether he did uh, stop laughing or he stopped singing, so it does not really matter. Yes, but the thing but is, the point is, left. whatever he was doing, he was doing it very badly, and people <laughs> yeah, left. people left. Okay. Right. So second portion also, when, when George, George stopped, stopped singing, singing everyone, everyone left. left. 
So the, this would mean that everybody left after he stopped singing. Right. So after he stopped uh, singing. Yes. Yeah. So it is not laughing, it's singing here. Now, this tells us whatever the portion has had, that mm -hmm. means that action had after the, well, before the first action. Understood. Right? Understood. Okay. So let's go to the uh, next slide then. So whenever you see two, uh, two verbs which are which, which are in tenses. the past or yeah. two tenses two, in, the, yeah, two in, in, in the in the past yeah. uh, so the first one will be represented by a hat, hat. irrespective yeah. right right so when george stopped singing everyone everyone had left you know that two there are two stopped and had left mm -hmm. which are in the past mm -hmm. so this would typically mean that they left mm -hmm. before he stopped singing right so if I uh, just if we do a graphical presentation of this if you just draw a line let me just do it then yeah okay and you are making me do difficult things draw yeah. a line draw a line so okay. this this portion the uh, right end and the right hand will be present okay and the left end will be passed right 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 so in between there are two actions yes let's say this now you can understand which one this. is the first action so this one is the first action on your left yeah so this will always be represented with had first action so it always use will it be represented as by had and the had. second second action the second action yes it will always be was or ed form the was or the ed form now you can see in this figure that there were two actions that happened in past yes but if we don't say had and was will not be able to understand which action happened first yes so to, uh, uh, to clarify that we use had with the first action and was or ed with the second action. so very important had with the first action yes and was or ed with the second action right is this clear absolutely okay so let's uh, see the next slide then yeah let's go to the next